Rosalcopter have flown into the playoffs. Dramatic fashion, 7-2 victory over Wildcard. We move forward though, and it's Knights versus Order, and we will see who one of these two teams will be playing Rafflecopter or not in the playoffs. One of them will, of course, be you know, further on in the Gauntlet Gus, and one of them will be in that 4-5 position versus Ruffle. You could have said it no, any, any better. I could have, <laughs> what a creative awful. way of really building some excitement into this matchup, Jake. I mean, I'm absolutely loving your hype right now. But yeah, both of these teams, they're in the playoffs, so yeah. you know, they're safe in that respect. But again, if you win this matchup, you're likely to play one less best of three in the Gauntlet, which is a significant advantage. Certainly is. There's a chance, of course, second place could be up for grabs depending on other results. Uh, let's go and have a look at order. Of course, these two teams, they played each other last night, guys, and it was a Knights victory because that was in APAC South, but Order is an OCN team. <laughs> that's very true. Order is an OCN team. That's why they're here, and that's why they're playing. Thank you. You know what I mean. Again, for your insight. Uh, but no, just, just to reel it back in. Order, they find themselves in third, heading into this final play. They, so it has been a pretty decent uh, stage for them, and they'll be quite happy with some of their results. Now, unfortunately, yes, they didn't make APAC South playoffs, but again, much like their counterparts in Wildcard, it means that they can focus their attention now over fully towards the Oceanic Nationals program and try to really put their best foot forward and make a bit of a statement that they're here to stay. This roster is the best that it has been for quite some time. And again, slowly trying to chip away at that inconsistency tag that they started to ascertain, particularly stage one and early stage two. But I mean, by all accounts, it is slightly wearing away on <laughs> Nico's, Nico's second one. The, I, that is a very OG meme. That's even before my time, um, that meme. But uh, <laughs> good to see that Nico is having a bit of fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get the zoom, like the, you know, the NCIS zoom in? Have we got enhance, the technology? Enhance, enhance, enhance. Uh, oh, we, don't, uh, we don't have the budget for that one. But hey, uh, <laughs> order, as I sort of alluded to, guys, they're a good OCN team. That, that, that's kind of the point that I was trying to get at, right? APAC South hasn't quite been their shtick. That's usually been where Knights perform better. Uh, but for order, they've been a bit better this stage. They obviously dealt with rhythm very comfortably in play day six. Prior to that, they were the closest team to take it up to Team Bliss, the only team to take points off Team Bliss this stage. Uh, the downside is they, they did lose to Rufflecopter earlier. That was in OT. But outside of that, Order have been pretty decent this stage, and they are going to be difficult to beat. Their opponents, though, are the Knights, of course, off uh, another good APAC South stage. In fact, so good that they finished in first place, and they're going straight to Mexico. Let's but, go. Woo! But, and it's a big but, guys, their OCN, you know, form hasn't been that great. Three and three for the stage. Yeah, their OCN campaign hasn't been the greatest, but I'm sure they're not going to be uh, overly disappointed considering that they uh, will hopefully be sending themselves over to Mexico in the next couple of weeks. But that said, I think off the back of that result, they'll be alleviated of a lot of pressure. They don't need to worry about APAC playoffs. And now they can sort of just have a bit of fun here, I think, in OCN. That's probably the mentality that I would assume they're heading into these matches. They're like, lads, we can just relax, let's have some fun, let's try and build some form, some momentum, maybe even test out and try a couple of different things heading into that major as a bit of preparation. Now, again, you don't want to give away too much, but on the flip side, you know, this is a decent training ground to test those sorts of things. So keen to see what kind of style we see from Knights in the hey, did uh, you just last refer day, to OCN as a training ground? For these guys it is. I mean, oh, more so God. because... Raven, get this man off uh, the product. You know what I mean, though. They've got the major to worry about, right? OCN's not their top priority, but it is a good opportunity, like I say, for them to just have a bit of fun and chill out. Oh, God. A bit of fun and chill out. Well, look, I'll tell you what. I'll what? give you this one, guys. For the Knights having a bit of fun and chilling out, they're still very difficult to beat, even if they are just chilling out and having a bit of fun. Uh, I still think that they will put up quite an effort here against Order. And ultimately, you know, if they lose this game, they will have to run the entire gauntlet and that's not fun, although I guess if we go off of your forehead brain, that they would mean they get, they get more opportunity yes. to have fun and chill out. So I don't know, know. maybe, maybe the, the, the 300 IQ straight is for the Knights to lose this so they get more <laughs> games. If they do win it, it'll put them on 13 points. It will put them in second place uh, with obviously the only other team then being able to overtake them with being the Chiefs. So, uh, I, and, and that obviously goes for Order as well because, you know, both teams are on basically a similar amount of points. Order's on 11, but they don't have the tiebreaker 
to the Chiefs. So uh, for order, they do need to win, but then Chiefs, and Knights, they do need to win, but then Chiefs. So that's basically where we're at with this one. Uh, let's go and have a look at the map and see where we will be heading for this particular game. It's going to be Villa. I don't even want to hear I'm you make a it. single meme. Knights had the opportunity to send it to Oregon. They elected not to. They banned that one out. We do go to Villa, which is nice because of the fact that we had Coastline, which we haven't seen much of, and now we've got Villa, which we haven't seen much of. So you know what that means, guys? Hopefully, we get some Chalet maybe later on tonight because we haven't maybe, seen much maybe. of that. Yeah, that, 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 that's definitely a, a potential. That's now, how it works, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm just quickly looking back at my map video from last night, Knights taking on Order, and Villa was either the last or the second last ban because I can't remember the ban order and it was in fact uh, order that took it off the board on that occasion. So they've let it slip through here. I guess maybe order aren't particularly confident on Chalet or they're hiding it for the playoffs, but yeah, sets us up for an exciting matchup. We were tantalizingly close to seeing Villa played um, in their APAC South matchup where the Knights got the edge, but yeah, now we get to see it played out. A bit of variety, a bit of fun, and mm. yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for it as well. I like me some Villa. I think it's aesthetically pleasing. Uh, it's great to look at. It's just a yeah. really, really good map in every single way, shape, really or is. form. And I think it's a good map for these two teams to go to, right? Because I think we've seen enough of Order and Knights on maps like Oregon, Clubhouse, Consulate. We've seen it time and time again. Let's go over to Villa. Order versus Knights. A second place finish up for grabs. The loser will most likely be in that 4-5 position and will have to run the entire gauntlet. Let's see if Order can get some revenge off the back of their loss to the Knights last night. I just gotta say, Nate is showing more chest hair than Raven has on APAC South already tonight. I mean, the top he's wearing, we saw, oh, look at that. Oh, wow, well, that, that's a lot of chest well, hair being flexed there by Nate. I'm not sure that's even stream appropriate to be Should we get honest, like a, a little sensor? Yeah, we need a black bar, <laughs> a black bar on Nate. <laughs> but uh, yeah, both teams, honestly, I, just based on their attitude and their, their body language alone, both look pretty chilled. Um, again, not, not absolute must win, but it is an important matchup, so I think these teams will still be motivated to get that dub. And there is that sort of rivalry that we've seen from the Knights and Order over the last couple of months. We saw them play yesterday, and Order are trying to even out that count here in Stage 2. Mm. Thatcher, Nomad, taken off of the board. Nice and early. Pretty stand bands there, of course, as we most likely should see the Mirror and Valkyrie, 30 and 40%, uh, respectively, there. Um... I think coming into this game, though, one thing that should be said is that Order's a team... Oh, okay. We're going to take out the Clash. Order's a team that still has that inconsisten inconsistency tag, guys. If they win this, do you take it away from them? Or do you continue to actually go into it further because of their loss against uh, the Knights last night? <laughs> uh, uh, I'd say that if they, if they manage to take down the Knights here, we can start to question that tag a little bit more if we haven't already. And banter in the chat um <laughs> we, we know that we know that the knights typically don't really respond much to banter in the chat and oh, Jack Speck, Speck eating is again. on the phone right now did you see specker was on the phone he's, he's <laughs> chatted strats with the coach just making sure everything's sorted jack dad's having his dinner again as well i mean this is just like last week all over again he needs to work out he needs to start cooking his dinner a bit earlier the man's just not timing it very it's, well it's eight o'clock he could have eaten during the first game True. Oh, yep. And then Nino. Uh, Nino. <laughs> Dino. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh oh. And it was the Knights last time that had the rehost before. It's, the first it's round, always wasn't it? the Knights. It is. They are <sighs> the team nowadays that just always has these issues. Let's go back to uh, Jack Dad having some dinner. What's he eating? I didn't. I don't know. Uh, what was it last I time? Really... I think it was like noodles or something, right? Ooh, oh. Can you show us, Jack? Probably not. That's unfortunate. Oh, it looks oh, like is rice. that rice? Yeah. Like maybe fried rice? Potentially. That's some good carbs heading into the matchup. I'm yeah. sure that'll that'll serve him well. Is that a lightsaber on his desk? To the right. Yeah. Uh maybe. I think it is. It kinda looks like yeah, I think it actually is. <laughs> maybe we'll see Jack swinging that around later when they <laughs> celebrate. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> I'll be careful with that mouth, Jack. Dad, we don't know if we want to see that far into it. Specker, who has he's always got worse provided hand than you at the moment. I mean, uh, he's definitely woken up on the wrong side of the bed, Specker. I think he's still in bed. 
just wake up. I think his mind is still in bed at the moment. His hair definitely is as well. Uh, always providing us with plenty of entertainment is Sir Specker. The tranquility, I must say. It is like that Big Brother moment again where we're just like awkwardly, <laughs> awkwardly looking at all the players. <laughs> I don't even know what to talk about at this stage. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Nate's providing some entertainment. I wonder what he's listening to. I reckon it's... You reckon it's country music? Uh... No, probably not. You a fan of country music? Uh, don't mind it. Are you serious? I mean, I... Oh, maybe they're jamming out together. It's Fletch again. <laughs> oh, Fletch. The vibes are really at an all-time high. Was that a cookie there? From, uh, I think it was from Nico. Is that, was that a Subway cookie? Might have been. Am I allowed to say that? I don't actually know if I'm allowed <laughs> I was going to say that, but I, I, I like to not to. <laughs> uh, James Dev Stewart made a tweet saying, Fletch and I grew up in a village on the Gold Coast and look where he is now. Go, my Aussie brother. That is, a, that is a very OG meme. That is way before my time. That is way before my time. In fact, I wasn't even born. Uh, yeah. Let's go and look at the night. Dino's still here, so I don't know why he's not in the game. It's clearly there. Strats. Living rent free. I wish I could live rent free. If I could live rent free in Specker's head, I'd be laughing. I I, I meant like in my house. <laughs> you know. Are you, a rent, are, you a, are you a renter? Right? I thought you. Well, no, your house. no. I meant like the meme is rent free. I wish I could live mortgage free. How's that? It just doesn't have the it same ring to it. Doesn't have the it. same ring, no. Ring. Look, I don't have to pay for either because I'm. Live off my parents. <laughs> you reckon Dido's beard has got a thicker this stage? I swear it has. Uh, I think it though. gets yeah, probably, probably. The stress of siege. Catch. You know what you should do is probably just shave off the mustache and just rock the the chin beard. You reckon? I reckon. I don't mind the mo. Maybe I'm biased. Nah, nah. Get rid of the mo and just rock the chin beard. Be the <laughs> trendsetter. Yes, it could be. I'm just hoping Dino gets into the game soon. That's uh... yeah, that that would be ideal. <laughs> that would be very nice of him to do. <laughs> I feel like we did the exact same thing last week. We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I think it was him as well that DC. I can't. I can't remember who it was. But uh... how long? Are we looking at our potential interviewee at the moment? Maybe. Maybe. And I tell you what, if Knights do win this. Uh... It really puts a, a bit of pressure. I mean, well, I mean, regardless, there's pressure on Chiefs. Whoever wins this, someone's going to win it. I don't even know where I'm getting with that. Yeah, no draws here anymore. That was uh, yeah. exiled in late 2020. Maybe even Exil earlier. I can't remember. We did, we <laughs> Sent did to have, the Shadow Realm. We did, you, we did once have draws, once upon a time. We did. I know. I remember them. That's, Were you there? I was, Were you around? I was, then? I was yeah. Oh, Jeez. Wow. You've been around longer than I thought. I, I can't believe it either. I, I look... I'm surprised as you are. I thought Time I flies when you're having fun. Now. Slash in lockdown. <laughs> okay, guys. Any friendlies in chat? All right. Let's get into the game. This was a bit of fun, of course, looking at the players. Always nice that we have the player cams here for OCN. We can see their beautiful faces, their beautiful beards, and their beautiful food. But what we really want to see is the beautiful game. And we are finally in for Villa. Order on the defense. Knights on the attack. And this is surely going to be a good one. Off the back of these two playing last night, they of course have fresh memories. Knights with the 69% community vote. That's nice. And that 31 nice. for order. That is nice. very, yeah, very, very nice. nice. Yeah. Well, apparently we've had word that the reason Dino DC'd from the game is he, quote, hit his PC in rage apparently and it crashed. LOL. So, <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what fired Dino up so early into this matchup, but uh, a bit of emotion in this one, it would seem. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Um, I mean, how, what, what? How do you hit your computer in rage? I don't know. Maybe you just and and somehow turn it off. <laughs> you must have given it a really good punch. I wish we had. Do we have a replay of that? I mean, we do have the play <laughs> cams. <laughs> Come on, production, get it done. Oh god, that would be great. Order. 
On the defense, first up here for Villa. We haven't obviously seen too much Villa. That's uh, something that we did touch on earlier. No, we have only seen 30 seconds worth of it. You are right. Uh, I was going to say for this stage, guys, but, you know, have, you, have your little meme. Uh, of the two games of Villa that has been played for this stage, 59% attack to win rate, but, I mean, let's Ooh. be real. We're not going in for that one. Sage, they go straight on in. Immediately shut down by Jack Daddy. Opening pick for order. I mean, that one kind of caught me off guard, but it didn't quite catch off order. They were able to get a trade back, though, immediately onto Nate, and suddenly the memes have stopped and subsided, and the game has started. And Jack Dad just gets burnt to a crisp. Hayward finds his second for the round, and suddenly this attack rush from the Knights has just worked out perfectly. The Knights making up for lost time over that rehost, wanting to get a quick round under their control. Off the back of that Amaru rush through Skull and a couple of other players following that up, I think through study, just literally getting inside, sitting there and waiting for the rotations back. The Knights didn't panic, they played it quite smart and order were forced to move. And unfortunately for them, they didn't really have the intel inside to find those picks and it was very well played by the Knights to get round one. Yeah, um... Uh... Completely caught me off guard. I mean, Sage goes in with the Amaru, obviously doesn't find anything, dies immediately. But what that does do is it sets everything in motion, allows the rest of the Knights to start making their way in. And that's what you kind of expect from the Knights when they're playing at their best. They're the ones that are dictating the, the pace and they're the ones that are being proactive and making things happen. Have a stat trophy for order. And I think that's just going to give them a bit of a wake up call. Obviously, we had a bit of a break before we got started with this game. That's one way to sort of just get woken up a little bit. Like, all right, we got to switch on here because if Knights are playing fast like that, we need to be on our toes. Very much the case. Sage, again, sticking the Amaru in this round. I mean, across the border, a lot of... In fact, you could argue that, honestly, every single pick here from the Knights is... I don't know exactly how you want to phrase it, if it's off meta or a pocket pick or however you want to frame it. I think it is a testament to just Weird. how diverse your operation selection can be at the moment. They've got no dedicated hard breach. They haven't got any dedicated flank watch, unless you want to consider line a flank watch or maybe even zero in that regard. But it's not like a gridlock or a nomad, for example. You haven't got your typical Zofia or Yana to clear utility. This is very, very unusual here from the Knights. I'm very keen to see whether or not they can make this work. Is this what you do during uh, your training mode? Guys, is this, is this training mode sort of... Oh, Specker! Nice quick double onto Dino and Jizzy who thought they could just walk straight in. Specker's backyard. He says no. Nitrosal obviously was never going to be able to make it that far over to Josh and Hayward. But I mean, the question does have to be asked. Without uh, going as far as saying as OCN doesn't matter or OCN's a training mode, like you said earlier, obviously the Knights not going to want to give too much away, right? Yeah. Doesn't seem to be the case. I mean... Maybe we'll see the Knights rocking this kind of stack in uh, in Mexico. I don't Absolutely know. Absolutely no fun, way. But uh, yeah, you wouldn't expect it. Reloading. They'll likely be trying to win this match out with default takes, a bit of fun and one-on-one -on -one gunfights. Map control, though, is slowly being obtained here by the Knights. Josh establishing himself a red, but Sage cannot win that fight in trophy. That's Jack Dad to find that pick. Josh tries to follow up. Bit of a lean spam as he tries to find that pick over towards Bricks. Now that is Bailey. Prepped and ready to swing. Ready to swing. <laughs> Gotta get my words out. Prepped and ready to swing like this. Three, two. Why are you draining, Josh? He's wetty. This is comp. You're not allowed to I'm reloading! Bit of 15 on the clock. The round is over. Oh, this has been a bit of a meme start here on Villa. Not just from... <laughs> the Knights, but also probably from us as well, having a bit of fun with this one, and so are the Knights, but this is where we start to now, you know, put our serious base on a little bit. If I'm Order, if I'm in Order's shoes, if I'm Specker inside that big brain, I'm thinking, hey, they want to play these meme picks on us, they want to try these different strats on us, they want to hide strats, we're going to punish them. We're going to win this game, we're going to get that really good gauntlet position, and we're not going to allow them to just walk all over us and do what they want. Now, obviously, we don't have the Privy Insider information, guys, and I, and I think it's not too far-fetched to say that you would look at this lineup and say, oh, yeah, this is something you would expect in a major. <laughs> Blackbeard. <laughs> no. 
but making it really hard. But <laughs> no, you know what? No, this <laughs> actually meant to cast I this cannot, seriously. I cannot justify what I'm seeing right now in any way, shape, or form. I don't know what to say, guys. Uh, Can you? Do you? Is there anything here from the night? The only the only time Blackbeard was viable was from like 2016 to maybe 2018, when you know he was actually a genuine competitive pick because the shield had like. 600 hit points and you could not headshot a Blackbeard, but now you breathe on the shield and it will just shatter. So, by no stretch is Blackbeard viable at any level. I wouldn't even say you could make it work in casual. It's, it's literally <laughs> that bad. So, I think, yeah, like, the Knights clearly not taking... Okay, they're, they're taking this match seriously to an extent, but they're not going to show anything. They're just going to play default and have a bit of fun, like we're saying. And, uh, they can definitely translate that into a result. I mean, order for sure need to be careful here, but yeah, the Knights are, uh, hmm. Look, they can yeah. do what they want, really. There's no rule or law that states that they've got to pick the meta comp and they've got to do this this way and that way. I mean, they're in a position where they can't drop out of the playoffs, right? Yes, they could get a better position in the gauntlet, but that's not really on their mind right now. They've kind of got bigger things, and, and I think it's fine to, to justify that. I don't think anyone's angry at the Knights or anything, but I think what it does do is it maybe puts a bit of pressure on Auto. If Auto can obviously be taking this seriously, you don't want to get memed on. Huge brain play there from Dino. Uses the punch hole there and the shield to cover his face to play that prone peak. Nico elsewhere, though, does find Josh. That's the Undertaker off oh. the board. Sage from down below. We try and find a trade Dead. back. But Nico able to close that out with the UMP. Eventually traded out, though, from the mud window. Now, oh, Dino. The oh, the shield. It Dino. works. The shield works. <laughs> no way. The pick up to Specker. The Knights in the 2v2 are somehow pulling this off. Oh, my God. The shield play. Save. It's worked. Two versus two. A minute 40 on the clock in what is, by no means, a standard Villa game here. Probably someone out there that's just tuned in and going, what is going on right now? But basically, the Knights, of course, and Order are both in the playoffs already. It's just a matter of playing for position. But the Knights being the APAC South winners, just as, as of last night, going to the Mexico Major, kind of got other ideas... That, Gonna want to save some strats and probably not want to show too much. So they are taking this in a more meme approach. But hey, they're still gonna want to hit their shots. They're still pinging things out. They're still gonna win the rounds. And honestly, they're in a position where they can do it with a minute left. Juicy just got the ping here. Any sort of peek here from Nate, and he is gonna die. Dino gets lit up. They've called out that player on the chassis. It's Nate who's now being dropped. Jack Daddy isolated over towards Laundry. He has a short rotation to his left and the door to his right. Gotta and move. the Knights cut this off. Not quite. Jack Daddy, though, gets lit up from oh. Sheets. It's Dino still alive. No shields left, of course. They've both been shattered. Jack Daddy on 25 HP needs to try and win this out. Oh, he finds the proning Dino. He gets that kill. Suddenly now, Juicy. In a tricky situation, but he does have the health. He's actually going for the revival to Nate. And he does get it. They've got two versus one, but they're both so low. Juicy. Oh, the Nitro Soul goes down, but he isn't able to find the target. Still, Jack Dad pops up and popped him. An order. Sigh of relief. Somehow win that calamity. Oh, the lightsaber! Jack yes. Oh, he just cuts them up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That is the best. <laughs> <laughs> May the force be with you, Jack Daddy. Oh. Oh, man. That's so good. And uh, Nico as well changed his uh, his wallpaper on his second monitor. So we'll have to we'll have to play guess who. I mean, I already know who it is, but we'll have to see whether or not you can guess who it is. I'm sure you will. Not the game for us, but yeah. In all seriousness, a, a tidy little clutch there from Jack Daddy. He was on one shot's worth of HP, picks up, finds the kill, and a clean little sweep up there from Order in what has been a very hectic first couple of rounds. You underestimate my powers. <laughs> Need to Says Jack Daddy. <laughs> that was so cringe. I'll never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Just oh. not a story the Jedi would tell you. <laughs> Look, order. That was a round. I, don't, I just that was a round. Everything from the Blackbeard, the Shield, two versus two, the Revive, and then the lightsaber to, to just close it all out. Order though, do take a two-one lead. Dino on the Ying now. 
Everything else still pretty much sticking to be you know, that, that similar insertion. operator, but Dino the one shifting things around slightly here. But Knights are just going to continue <laughs> this sort of play style. They, are they, they're having some fun. Yeah, I didn't expect to be casting rank tonight, but it seems to be exactly what's on our Ranked, mate, this is casual. I thought Alaphon Rhythm was going to be the, the meme match of the night, but oh. clearly this one is uh, giving that, uh, that match up a run for its money. Now, we are going to see the Ying brought into the fray here from the Knights. That's Dino. Three Candelas, which can be expended and could be very frustrating for Order to deal with. They do have a Jaeger in response, but that might not be quite enough to fully cover some of these entryways. Slightly slower approach from the Knights, although anything compared to that first couple of rounds is always going to be a little bit slower. Dino gets the oh. ding, gets the down onto Nico inside of Astro, and that's going to be another advantage for the Knights early on in these rounds. Still, of course, has those Candalas and can be an absolute menace when they do push onto site. Takes out that mirror. Just under two minutes, and again, the Knights are going to be aggressive. They're going to be in the face of order. And they're going to be annoying and pesky. Bailey finds one back though there onto Dino. That was inside of stats, so the Knight's not playing that very well. If the Knight's had intel, Dino could have surely flashed him with those Candelas and gotten essentially what would have been a free pick. But Bailey with only one or two HP can now play down below. And doesn't have a Nitro Soul, but at least still has a gun to work with. Specker does double down on that half of the map. Sage also off the board and the diffuser now on the floor. Juicy just gets caught out. And this time things going a little bit more to script here for order. I mean, if Knights are going to continue to play these sort of operators and play this aggressive, you do sense that order should be in that prime position to capitalize and and punish them. Attackers have recovered their diffuser. They've been able to do that a lot better in this fourth round. Specker continues what's been an amazing stage for him. Bailey over towards red, uh, these red stairs. Oh! Okay. Uh, round's over. How did he... What? I guess his arm just wasn't long enough. It's unfortunate. I think Jack actually needed a lightsaber there to get the, get the range there on the melee. Oh well. Order. Finally, punishing the Knights a little bit more here. A 3 1 extension of that lead is, I mean, to be expected against this kind of uh, lineup and playstyle that the Knights are playing. They're very much just sending it, having a bit of fun again, trying to find picks and manipulate themselves into some of these rounds. But Order, if they continue to play pretty smart here, quite structured and try and counter this kind of ridiculousness, I guess, if you want to frame it that way, then realistically, they shouldn't have too many issues. Amassing a pretty good lead here on the defense. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. And I think Orders is the kind of team that's more than happy to also have a little bit of fun as well. Sort of play into it a little bit, but they need to make sure they don't get too caught up and that they just sort of play their own game and still make things very difficult for the Knights. Because at the end of the day, you can pick these meme operators, you can have these meme comps, you can play aggressive, but you're still going to be trying to hit your shots. You're still going to be trying to win instinctively when you're running around looking to click heads. All right? Knights playing like this would still beat most of your average teams pretty easily. Except for the, probably the caster stat, right? Like, that's where you would draw the line. Especially on Villa, because you'd be able Especially to IGL us. 100%. Do you even know where the fourth objective on Villa is? Fifth round, three versus one. <laughs> Two rounds to go in the half. <laughs> Do you actually not know? Or? I I don't think I've ever seen it because, quite frankly, this is I have done not much Villa. That's that's okay. That, but it really oh nice peek from Nico. It goes to show though, we just we don't see much Villa. Oh, oh, oh Nico! Nico, thought he had him there. Of course, Nico, the vertical IGL support entry coach for order, as his Twitter bio suggests. Nate elsewhere, though, does find one there on Josh. Oh, Nico finds yet another down below. There's a drone there to his right inside of Gano, but it doesn't quite spot it there on the window. 
Sage with a cheeky little swing in. Makes his way towards Memorial. Maybe trying to find something down below. Something in response. Hey, we're not. Astro Repel lit up by that Nitro Cell. And things look dire once again for the Knights. Yeah, and this is just now starting to... Uh, it was a bit of fun the first couple of rounds, but... Order. Obviously not really going to be playing too much into the hands of Knights. They're looking to just get this job done. Hayward's not going to really be able to offer much. I think Sage is probably going to be able to offer much either. Still a minute 20 seconds in the round and 4-2 to two advantage for order. Looks as if they will go 4-1 up. Five rounds in. Although who knows what Knights are going to do on the defense. I got no idea. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be uh, something else. Sage though, down below inside of Laundry, prepping to try and repel or hook himself up through the hat. Manages to get within range and immediately <laughs> wow. shut down by Nico. And now Hayward has 50 seconds to contemplate life on the roof. Should just die to fall damage or something. Why not? End it. End it all, Hayward. I don't think he's allowed to. I, think, I don't think it's in the rules, unfortunately. Really? He what if it's accidental? It, I mean, you could make it look accidental. You reckon he just stands here? Yeah, so I mean, why not? <laughs> He literally um, can't do anything. This match is just oh, uh, electrifying, oh. Xenox, I must say. Oh, oh no. Oh, there's a frost mat. Did you see it? Probably not. It, oh. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> 4 1 start to this fantastic game. Well, that was a pretty good night to sell, all things considered. Yeah, and, and this one is. Uh, not one for the the replays. Even I've got to say, do, this is the strange. Honestly, I've 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 casted a lot of strange games, but this is really starting to get up there. This is <laughs> this is fun. This is this is strange from the Knights. I mean, what what what? I, I, I thought they'd you know put up a bit more of a serious effort. Not to say that they're messing around too much, but their operator selections are quite uh, creative. Now, Blitz, we have seen a bit of Blitz in competitive. I believe we casted Mint. Uh, from Dark Zero over in Six Invitation. Yeah. He was probably the only player that on really played Chalet? a bit of Blitz. Yeah, it was on Chalet. And, you know, to mixed effect, it wasn't absolutely groundbreaking or amazing, but can have some Defender, limited impact. So, who knows? Maybe Hayward will spend this time actually getting in towards the site and causing some chaos as opposed to sitting on the roof. Not really expecting much to happen in this round outside of an auto win. 5-1 half coming up. Let's be real. Let's just get it over and done with Knights. Have your fun. This should be a very quick round though. The Lion, the Amara, the Blitz should just basically be sending it onto site. And then just see what happens. I, I can't see it going any other way. I just opened up chat to see what people are talking about. I've got to say, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of Star Wars chat, so it seems like uh, Jack Daddy is pleasing the crowd. <laughs> Maybe we'll see a few more swings of that saber if Order can continue to mount these rounds. Now, it's a basement entry here from the Knights, both Hayward and Juicy teaming up. Look at these strats. I mean, this is really elite. Honestly, I don't think Knights are hiding anything from the Major. This is literally... Some next level strategy on display in a sage as well. Oh, pantry is juicy. Does actually find one. Specker deleted Working. down below. And now Hayward's in a great position off the back of this E1D to maybe go for something, but no. The knight's willing to play this patient. This is really well coordinated. It <laughs> actually is. Dino finding another for the knights. You can meme it up all you like, but it is kind of working right now for the knights. Bailey did get one back. That's juicy eliminated. No more E1D. And then Bailey just catches Hayward from behind the blitz. Unable to shield his backside, and suddenly now it's a three versus three. Four deaths inside of the opening minute of this Attack final of round of the half. The Stick it, Josh. Pros don't fake. Sage in position to cover. I don't know exactly where Dino's found himself, but either way, Attackers plant will be stuck, and now order need to retake. 
Josh gets the immediate kill onto Jack Daddy. Maybe they can actually make this a 4 2 half after everything that has transpired inside of the first half. Nico Knight's headshot, though, in pantry. Now pushing over to the site, seeing what he can find. Josh is, though, prone behind this dining room table. Gets downed immediately. And it's now only Dino that is left in a one versus two. The nade goes out. They're actually both quite low, but Nico with enough health to survive that. The swing from Bailey is perfect. And Nico will get the counter to fuse and order. Will now find themselves up 5-1 in the first half. Welcome back to OCM, presented by Samsung. This, of course, has been a wonderful match of Siege so far. Order up 5-1 inside of the first half. Uh, Knights have been absolutely struggling to stay alive in these rounds. But uh, another thing that has been living is, of course, one of our major sponsors for OCN. Uh, they've been an incredible, incredible partner, not only this stage, but of course stage one as well. Uh, if you're not sure about Livin, they are a mental health organization dedicated to breaking the stigma around mental health. You can support Livin by following them on social media, uh, along with wearing their merch. I've got one of their shirts on tonight. Uh, and of course, OCN viewers can also take advantage of a great offer. Use, co uh, use the promo code OCN15 at the checkout to receive 15% off. Simply type exclamation mark live it inside of the Twitch chat to visit their online store. Get yourself a piece of that sweet, sweet merchandise. But we, as we bring it back, Guz, 5-1. Knights on the defense now and immediately onto the cap can. And Hayward spawn peeking with the Deagle on top of the master bedroom out towards the southern spawn. A very common strategy that we see here in competitive. Will Hayward find his mark? I think a couple of players have spawned out there, so maybe. But I believe they have both found Sanctuary over towards the balcony. Bomb located by leading into study. So that probably won't really find much. Nico, the vertical end, or something going inside of Piano, but it is Nate to get the opener in this round. Unfortunately, Hayward's efforts there on the Deagle will not be rewarded. And yeah, expecting Order to probably just make light work of this if Knights are going to continue to play the way that they have been playing in this game. So what this does mean for the Knights, though, is they will be having to play from that 4-5 position, which is the beginning of the gauntlet. And I guess that does mean they get more games in their training mode area, Guz. So I guess in the end, that's exactly what they wanted. <laughs> they could still turn things around, but I highly doubt it. Bailey's getting, going to eliminate Sage. That makes it a five versus three. Oh, juicy displaced by the Rotero drone. No one from order cutting off that round position. That said, with it forfeited, they can now claim it and Juicy and Josh will be under the pump over towards Long Corridor. That's an easy kill for Juicy, unfortunately for Specker. And obviously what it means for Order, they go to 14 points. They will have to wait and see what happens between Bliss and Chiefs after this game. See where they will be Placing either second or third. Second would be pretty good. Allows them to just be one best of three away from the grand final. And they would probably back themselves in in being able to defeat Team Bliss. They've said it themselves. They honestly think that they can beat anyone. Nate with a nice shot onto Dyna, but immediately traded back by Josh. Just definitely sensing Knights on the defense, though. Putting themselves in much better positions now to win these rounds, but even then, Order still playing this really well. 3 1 advantage. Josh immediately does fall. 6 1 match point. 
Yeah, another creative attempt there from the Knights. And Order really just getting the job done there, not uh, having to stress all that much. And now find themselves on match point. They are one step closer to closing out this match, gaining the full three points. Now, that means that Order could possibly finish in second, meaning that they're one match away from the grand final. That will be dependent on the Bliss Chiefs matchup. But a cool storyline to keep... Um, Reminding ourselves of, of course. Yeah, obviously for Order, they've got different aspirations than the Knights in terms of OCN, probably. And yeah, at the end of the day, I mean, if the Knights themselves want to come in and, and play some different compositions and play some different operators, that's on them. Order can only play the team in front of them. Attackers and can only still play the way that they can play and. You know, there's two ways you can look at it. If you order, you can sort of play into it. You can sort of meme with the Knights. Or you can just say, no, we're just going to play our game and we're just going to make this a, a bit of an easy one and just move on. Because at the end of the day, for order, they don't have to do anything too drastic here, guys. You know, you just play sort of standard siege, play your standard compositions. Don't have to really throw, you know, too much. You don't have to go digging too deep into the strat book. And they're, they're going to be able to get the three points. And, and that's pretty much all that they needed. And for the Knights, I guess... Whatever they wanted to get out of this game, they've probably gone and got out of it. <laughs> Five seconds yeah, the saving strat meme has been revived in 2021. Again, order all their eggs now in the OCM basket as they unfortunately did not make the Apex South playoffs. And again, there is a real possibility that at the end of tonight, they could finish in second place in the standings, be one step away from that grand final. And honestly, that means that Order are in a fantastic position if the best of three form is up to scratch to maybe be a little bit of a dark horse, some may say, or, you know, maybe even one of the favourites, honestly, heading into the playoffs. Of course, that does hinge on them being able to get maximum points here and the Chiefs not winning against Bliss. A bomb has been located. But, uh, look, I don't know how you're feeling, Xenox, but I'd say Order will probably win this game. Probably. I, I think there's a good opportunity that they can close this one out. It's not a given, but, hey, at least they got one point secured, just in case Knights bring it back. Just in case. Nico, though, trying to make sure that doesn't happen, and he does get the opening kill onto Juicy. The Knights have given it their all. They've just come up short here in the clutch. Hayward, though, not giving up on it just yet. He gets the nice headshot onto Specker. Maybe there is still time for the Knights to bring this one back. Maybe they've got order exactly where they want them. Hayward with Rook, one of the few defenders that can run the, pardon me, the 2x on their primary. Can he use that? full effect. And there is a player inside of Sheets, but Hayward elects not to go towards that position. Instead, find himself over towards top red, where Dino is currently placed. To be honest, good positions currently held by the Knights. If they can try and hold on here, they could well trade out this round. One for one, straight back. Still a minute remaining in the round. Three versus three. This tense affair. This game could just not be any closer right now. 40 seconds left. Oh! What a Kobe from Nico! And the second one to follow up from Bailey. Dino just gets sat down. Order going in for the kill. Hayward now alone as the last one alive. Can he bring it back for the Knights, guys? I'm not so sure. He's only got 13 seconds. We're into red time. He needs to be able to stop the diffuser. If he can't do it, Knights are going to lose the game. Oh my god, can you believe it? Order somehow have won it in an absolute barn burner. 7-1. Wow, I'd really like some more excitement from you, Zenox. Is that, uh, uh, so is that I, I absolutely tried to hype it up there as much as I could with what we were working with. But Order, look, they got the job done. Uh, they look bored, they look tired, but they at least move forward. 
Uh, up the standings, they go to 14 points. It's good for second right now. Of course, though, uh, we remain to see what happens between Bliss and the Chiefs after this game. 7-1 over the Knights. Uh, I actually did predict order, by the way, guys. I don't know if you did. Uh, yeah, I mustn't have. So, look. Um, <laughs> yeah, I probably didn't expect the Knights to head into this matchup and not bring a hard breach for any of those rounds that I can remember. And, you know, Spawn Peak with Valk Deagle. So... Uh, look, hindsight is twenty twenty. Had I have known that heading into this one, I would have picked order. But uh, Gee, it is think? what it is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was, like I said, that has probably got to be one oh, of the strangest God. matches of competitive siege I have ever witnessed in, in my life. That was just, yeah, something else. Look, it's obviously difficult to uh, convey really what's going on in this sort of game. Knights really came out early on with some of these meme picks. The Nook. So the Blackbeard, uh, I mean, like, and they won the opening round. <laughs> That's the thing. They won that round, that opening round. I'm thinking, oh, my God, is this how it's going to go? Is this going to be just sort of a chaos? But no, Order then win the next seven in a row. And, uh, like, even that moment, Dino with the double on the Blackbeard, and I'm thinking, what's going on? I think that, honestly, that play there from Dino, as much as there were some crazy plays in that matchup, I was just so impressed to actually see the shield net him a kill. That's probably the first time in, like, 12 months I've seen that happen with a Blackbeard. So that play in isolation was definitely breathtaking. And, uh, yeah, across the board, just such an incredible match of Siege where, look, not many errors were made and not many mean picks were executed. And, yeah, I'm glad it was just so tantalizingly close. Certainly was a game that we will be replaying over and over and over again in the future. Uh, one for the vault, the highlight reel. Why is there, why is with the round five doesn't have the, like the little, little icon? Did, they, did we just skip that round altogether? It just didn't exist. Yeah, uh, maybe that was the point of no return for the night so they couldn't get back into this matchup. I don't know, but uh, uh, yeah, look, I don't think the stats really mean anything in this matchup. It was just order playing defaults, getting the job done, the Knights just having a bit of fun once again, testing out some operator picks, and look, the Major's going to be exciting if they bring that into, uh, into look, the metal. <laughs> uh, and look, there's two ways we can go about this, guys. We can obviously have a bit of a laugh. We can obviously try and make light of this situation. And then there's the other side of things, where we can maybe get a bit serious and say... <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with the, the mantra of Knights. It's not my yeah. personal opinion. Like, that's just me speaking. I think that, you know, you, you, you play for seven weeks, you play each seven weeks to the best of your ability. They didn't do that in that game. That's a little bit disappointing. Um, but hey, I mean, they can kind of do what they want there, I guess, in that sense. And, and for Order, fair credit to Order, because they, they didn't buy into it. They just played their game. They did what they had to do. And obviously, we're going to speak to Speckin right now and, and get his thoughts on the situation uh, because I, I very much want to speak with this man right now. I, I want your thoughts on that particular game, Specker. Honest to, tr honest to God truth, let me know. Do you care or not? I just felt like they didn't care. Um, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, but you saw no, how they were playing. They didn't bring a want. single hard breach. They were solo entering. It didn't feel genuine. So, I mean, I know that they've qualified for the major and all that, but I think it's a pretty lame slack approach. Just, you know, that's me. Um, as you said, you play for seven weeks, you play for seven weeks, and if you're proud with that showing that you just had then, I'd be disgusted personally. So, I mean, pretty embarrassing, but if that's their approach, that's their approach. That's their underlying character, and I'm not about to, you know, throw shade, but it's pretty disheartening, you know, having had a contested match the other day in our South Leagues, now have this, it's relatively, I guess, insulting to us, I suppose. But it is what it is. We won, you know, we take the points. Not too unhappy about it, but um, just not a fun match to watch, I, I assume, which, um, you know, it is what it is. Like, as you said, we are just doing yeah. default stuff and they were just split picking and it just... Yeah, the one round that they won was when we were just... We were thinking that they were going to play a genuine match and then they just walk up brown and smoke me off and it's just, you know, it is what it is. So, yeah. I guess looking forward, Specker, it does mean that uh, there's a possibility, mm. actually, you'll finish second uh, here in Stage 2 yeah. um, pending the, the Bliss Chiefs game. Um, I just want to hear your thoughts on the playoffs. Obviously, um, without the APAC playoffs to worry about, you can put a lot of focus mm. and attention here into the Oceanic Nationals. Are you excited at the prospect of really fighting for that top spot? Yeah, no, it should be fun. Um, kind of wish there was a LAN to kind of, you know, commemorate the whole event and to wrap it all together. So it's always a bit different online to a LAN. I guess like LAN's the whole experience. You got time to build up to it. It's a bit more of a significant event. So not to disregard anything from this online playoffs. 
But, um, you know, it's going to be just a bit of extra research, I guess, just, you know, sitting on down and seeing how far we can make it. If we finish second, it's going to be a bit easier for us as opposed to last time where we, I think, were fifth and we binned out against Rufflecopter. But, um, yeah, no, so looking forward to playoffs. But unfortunately, we couldn't make South. But, I mean, look at how tight that league was, you know, like the difference between, I think, eighth and, and third or, or even second for that matter. I, I know second and first had a bit of a bit of a leeway, but even still, it wasn't really too far behind the rest of the pack. It was a pretty contested league, so... Relatively unfortunate with that result, um, but you know it is what it is. We've got stage three to recuperate for that, and as you said, we've got um, the playoffs. So we'll probably be using these OCN playoffs more so, I suppose, for I guess more development. I suppose more competitive play. Bo threes are pretty nice. Um, it'll pretty much take up you know the scrimming schedule for a bit, and we'll uh, we'll do some practice, do some development, and, and see where we end up. Pretty much. I'm just going to go a little off script here because I do just want to ask. Yeah. Obviously, we don't really do the. Um... Uh, loser interviews anymore. It's usually just the winning. Uh, you uh -huh. guys played Knights yesterday. That was a real game um, against yeah. Knights playing, you know, real. Uh, you got off to a good start in that game. Where did maybe things go mm. wrong in that? And I know it's APAC South and whatever, but I don't care. I want to speak about a real game. Um, yeah. Just to close your season there, well, was there anything that uh, maybe surprised you guys in that game and uh, to close out your season like that? Um, I just guess, I suppose... The banning on Buck was a bit disruptive to our attacks. Our defenses weren't in any issue at all. That was a normal game. We were up 4-2, you know, we're playing pretty comfortably. But um, I believe, like, you know, myself going to Thatcher, which we're not uncomfortable with, we've been practicing and, and all that. Um, but I think potentially the role switch up, it wasn't too disruptive, but it was just enough to where it would kind of adhere our consistent play style, I suppose. So it's just more experimentation, really, at the end of the day, and just being prepared for those kind of picks. Um, or bands rather, I suppose. But yeah, it was it was a contested game. Um, individually, my team all did relatively well. I, I definitely let down the, the bat in a bit. I played a little bit too aggressive um, than I should have and, and bled a few picks here and there. But um, it is what it is. It was, a, it was a game of siege. And I believe if that match was on another day, we, we win that. Um, some days you just don't win your gunfight. Some days you don't win your, your duels. And um, sometimes siege just doesn't go your way. So unfortunately, I believe yesterday was uh, one of those days but not going our way. I think, as I said, if there was another day, would be uh, winning Clubhouse. But it, it would be tight. I'm not going to say it would steamroll Knights, but you know, it would, it would be a, a fun match, I would say. Well, you did just steamroll them then, 7-1. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's in the record books. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah look, I think you guys have got a good, bright future ahead of you. I mean, technically, you finished last in APAC South, but you win that game, you would have been in the top four. That's how close that is, right? So well, that's it, It's right? a potato-potato sort of situation. It's so uh, close, Best man. of luck. Yeah, Perfect. best of luck in the, uh, in the playoffs and, and very much excited to see you guys in some best of threes. Thank you, gentlemen. Stay well. Have a fantastic evening. Huge shout-outs to Order. Huge shout-outs to our fans. And, uh, of course, production and everyone for making this possible. Much love. And thank you for watching and uh, being here. And we'll catch you all in playoffs. Thank you very much. Specker coming in off the back of Order's victory against the Knights uh, in what was uh, an interesting affair. We'll leave it at that one, guys, and yep. try to move forward a little bit uh, with the rest of the night because we've got another big game coming up. And this one has actually got two teams, well, I guess at least one team fighting for something. Bliss technically, I mean, like, it depends. Do they want to go for the 7-0? Uh, can we just, I just really, please, Bliss, play this properly. Please go for the perfect <laughs> record. That's all I'm going to say. That's I, all I, I really them. want. So like, they better, on. they better go for that 7-zip. I've been going on it all stage. Oda, rep picks. They said they would get it done. We go to a break. When we do come back, it is Team Bliss versus the Chiefs. Welcome to GTV ANZ, the gaming channel created by Ubisoft. 
Every Tuesday and Friday on YouTube, we'll be doing fast plays, game challenges, 1v1 face-offs, and so much more. You happy? When did we get a dog? That's a good question.